Currently, under common law, employment relationships are presumed to be at will in all U.S. states except Montana. The concept of employment at will allows the company or the worker to break the work relationship at any point in time, with or without any particular reason, as long as in doing so, a law is not violated. This is one of management's rights in organizations, meaning the employer does not have to have cause or reasons to terminate an employment relationship with an individual worker. If an organization states that employment in the firm is at will, then it is typically presumed that the worker has no contractual rights to continuing a job with the firm. However, employment at will is in reality a fairly weak law because courts in many jurisdictions in the United States have for many years ruled that employment at will is limited. The courts have specifically stated that there are three standard exceptions to employment at will. Public policy exceptions to employment at will include such things as being terminated for filing a legitimate workers' compensation claim, refusing to lobby for a particular political candidate just because your boss likes the candidate, or refusing to violate a professional code of conduct. In other words, if the organization were violating vital public interests, and if the worker refused to participate, then the organization would not have the right to terminate the individual's employment based on employment at will. The courts have also noted that frequently there is at least some evidence of an implied contract between the employee and the employer. For instance, if the company were to note in its employee handbook that our organization values hard work and many of our employees who perform well have been with us for many years, then you might be considered to have an implied contract stating if you work hard you will continue to benefit from employment. A third case in which courts have ruled that there are exceptions to employment at will occurs when employers are suspected of a lack of good faith and fair dealing in the employment relationship. In other words, if the employer does something that will benefit them significantly but will harm the individual employee, the action would create a lack of good faith and fair dealing. For instance, we might release an older employee shortly before they become eligible for a company-sponsored retirement plan in order to hire a younger worker, who is also cheaper as an employee, in the same position and thus may not have to pay the retirement benefit. This would be a lack of good faith and fair dealing, in addition to probably being against age discrimination laws.